I am 23 weeks pregnant but not feeling super well. But I know Brian is planning a special dinner for us too, so I cannot wait to see what that is. And there's so many fun things to do in here, so we can probably squeeze one or two of these out before dinner's ready. Oh, look at the bubbles, Layla. Before we get into our vlog, I thought I would give you guys an update on my pregnancy, which is super exciting. I feel like it's all like kind of downhill from here. I'm over that hump, which is great. This past week has been kind of rough. Um, as many of you know from watching my previous vlogs, I have an inguinal hernia and I had the same thing happen when I was pregnant with Layla and it's super painful. But beyond that, I feel like also I've just started getting a lot of aches and pains. Um, like my lower back hurts, my hips hurt, just, and it's constant. I feel like from the moment I wake up till I go to bed, the only thing that feels good is when I'm just sitting down on the heating pad and I can't do that with a toddler. I can't just sit around. Um, she won't let me do that. So it makes it a little rough. Um, so I've just been trying to take um, some Tylenol, which I know is safe for when you're pregnant, um, but even that doesn't help that much. So that's been really rough and um, I'm often like, how am I gonna make it these last four months? But I know some women that are pregnant go through a lot worse than this. So I just gotta remind myself that and that I can do this and it'll be worth it in the end. Some of the things that are happening right now, I'm gonna go to my Baby Center app and let's check out what is happening week 23. The baby is the size of, what is that? A large mango and weighs about one pound now. So mango and weighs about one pound. And you know what's so cute is like every day, Layla will come and ask me, how big is my baby today? And so every day we have to talk about how big the baby is. I think she expects it to grow every day. Thank goodness it's not getting that big every day or I'd be in trouble. The baby can now hear sounds from outside of my body, such as like a dog barking. And this is kind of interesting. They can first only hear low pitch sounds. So like uh, male voices, she can hear those more clearly than maybe say my voice. So she's probably hearing Brian's voice better than mine. Her digestive skills are starting to work, like the wave-like motions that propel food down along the digestive tract is beginning, so that's kind of cool. I might have swollen ankles now. Um, I don't really have swollen ankles, I haven't noticed that. I have noticed just how bad my skin has been lately, just awful. I thought by now maybe it would have cleared up, but I just feel like my skin just looks awful. I definitely don't have that pregnancy glow at all. I feel like I haven't had it at all this pregnancy. My skin kind of started off bad and it hasn't gotten better. That's kind of what I've been noticing this week. Um, still no real big big cravings, um, just, you know, sweets every now and then chips, but that's kind of me all the time. I, I don't know, I just haven't had anything specific that I've been craving. Um, have been feeling the baby move. She's actually been kicking a lot lately. That's been pretty cool. That's pretty much it. Not a whole bunch else going on, but just in our lives right now, we went to the beach this morning and poor Layla Jane, I don't know what happened, but like the moment we started driving home, she just started coughing and coughing. So we got home, did a breathing treatment. You can probably see like I have her medicine around the house. She is actually napping right now, which never happens. I can't remember the last time she napped. I know she's sick if she's napping. So we're just gonna take it easy the rest of the day, but I know Brian is planning a special dinner for us too. So I cannot wait to see what that is. And that's what we'll be doing next. Look who's up. <laughs> and she's discovering lots of new toys. You look a little what, better. What, what does this say? It says Happy Valentine's what does Day. It, say on this side? it says Happy Valentine's Day on both sides. <laughs> Poor Layla has been asleep for about two hours and now has 101 fever, too. She's acting better now because I gave her Tylenol um, about an hour ago, so I think that's starting to kick in. Well, we can still hear her coughing though. But as you can see, she's very excited about some new toys because while she was napping, Brian and I like did not know what to do with ourselves because she never naps anymore. But we decided to tackle her toy situation. It's a disaster. Let me show you what we've started. This is quite a mess. Ah! <laughs> So this is the baby's room, but it kind of just, when we first moved in here, just kind of came to throw everything in this room. So we're trying to sort through 
all of these toys. Right now we're just getting them organized and out of boxes, and then later on I'm gonna set up a new toy rotation for her. So I'll probably be vlogging that within like the next month or so, depending on how fast I get to it. For now it's just getting things out of boxes and putting them places so we can see them, making this actually into a nursery. Oh. Hey Layla, while you were napping, Daddy went to the grocery store and got stuff for a special dinner tonight. Like Andy them? got you flowers. Every daddy, every girl should get flowers. Mommy doesn't like them. I don't, I don't like flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like flowers. They bother my nose, I get allergies. So one of the last gifts Brian got me was a puzzle and it is honestly the best gift ever. I love jigsaw puzzles. I'm like such a dork like that and it was awesome. So <laughs> I have weird taste, things, weird things make me happy. Okay, that's really long, what is that? This starts with F. It, good job, fish starts with F. Is it fish? Gosh, they really wrapped whatever that is. Oh, crab. King crab. Can I eat crab when I'm you pregnant? actually can. She just asked me how big the baby is. It's actually Layla, I just looked it up earlier, the size of a large mango. That's a small mango, so probably a little <coughs> bit bigger than that. Okay, so Brian says I can't eat crab. I know there's so many weird things you can't eat when you're pregnant. So I'm gonna look this up just to verify, because seafood is kind of one of those weird things where some seafood you can eat, some you can't. I don't know, I know I can't do sushi, which is a bummer. I mean, I could do like veggie or baked rolls. You still just have to be careful and make sure that they use clean tools and clean places so you don't get any of like the fish residue on your veggie rolls. So yes, actually, there are many health benefits to eating crab when pregnant. Great nutrition improves the mental health and can actually combat symptoms of depression in the mom. All those are good omega-3s, that's really good. Good source of calcium, iron, better for baby development. Okay, so king crabs are the ones with the lowest mercury. So that's good. You don't wanna have mercury when you're pregnant. I'm not like a huge fan of crab. I've tried, like he's doing steak too, he just said. So I'll definitely eat the steak and I'll try the crab. But that's good to know. So all you pregnant women out there, crab is actually really good. But it does say always try to go with king crab. Well, I am going to give it a shot. I will try it again, because Brian is making us a special dinner. All right, back to sorting out your toys. So this is really funny. I just found all this stuff. This is like all the stuff I was gonna put in her baby book. Here's her hospital stuff. Here is her her baby book. So I did it, I did an okay job. Oh, no. Then I kind of stepped up. <coughs> I'll admit, I am not one of those moms that's very good at like organizing and doing baby books and scrapbooks, as you can see. I kept it all, it's just all in here. So that's a project for another day, although I've been saying that for almost four years now. All right, I'm gonna take her downstairs because she's starting to pull out everything and want everything. Like this recorder, I'm really glad we found this recorder. We're gonna be playing that all night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll go downstairs and let Daddy do the rest of this. So Brian just brought down all these boxes. Let's go see what you did. Much better. Now you can put the crib away. I gotta sort through all this. This is baby clothes. So that's for another day when you're at school maybe. <laughs> this is why toy rotations are so great because if you have your toys just laying out all the time, it makes your house look messy for one thing, but also your kids will just get bored with the toys. But if you put things away for a little bit and then bring them back out, they get super excited about it again. So I definitely need to get on this toy rotation. Brian is busy getting dinner ready and I'm gonna go sit down with Layla while she plays with her toy that she just rediscovered. So I'm definitely starting to get into a lot of pain right now. It always starts, you know, in the morning. Like, I always feel it, but towards the end of the day, too, it just gets excruciating. So I'm always trying to find an excuse to sit or sit and do something calm with her so I can just relax and maybe put on the heating pad, too, because it's really hurting right now. My back hurts, my hips, everything. Yeah. So even though Layla's coughing, she's definitely feeling good and wanting to do things. So I remember reading about this one experiment you can do, and I guess we're just gonna try it now because I have all the stuff for it. But it's where you create floating figures. So you just need like a plate, some dry erase markers, and water. 
Okay, so we have our hearts and a little circle you drew. Now, you're gonna take that water and yeah. slowly pour it on, yes? The blue came off, but I don't know. Oh, look at that, it kinda stuck to me. All right, so only the blue this time. They came off! Oh my goodness, is that cool? Our little stick figure man, our hearts. This Crayola color chemistry thing is so fun. It has like 50 different experiments in it. It says it's for ages seven plus. We actually got it as a Christmas gift. And I was kind of worried. I was like, ah, oh, I don't think she'll be old enough to do this. But with me helping her, it's totally fine. However, this little girl is coughing a lot. So I think we're gonna have to do one of her nebulizer breathing treatments before we do anything else. We decided we're going to do bouncing colored bubbles. All right, Layla, so we have a beaker filled with water and then oil. Notice how, can you see the difference? Yeah. Can you see how the top part is the oil and the bottom part's the water? But Layla, we do need some of our fizzy tabs. All right, so you got the fizzy tabs. So which one do you wanna do first, blue or yellow? Blue. Blue, let's drop it in and see what happens. Oh, look at the bubbles, Layla. It's like a lava lamp. Look at that, it's pushing the water up. Okay, now we're doing another one. And again, we did the water and the oil. But now it says to add some salt. Layla, do you wanna put the fizzy tab in? So it looks like this time, there's definitely more of like a clear barrier between the water and then the oil. So that's the only thing, it doesn't really give you like an explanation of what's happening. It just says that, can we separate salt from water using the oil as a shield? But I, I don't know the science behind this, but it's still fun to do with your kids, so I recommend this. Okay, well actually, this is kind of cool. I see like three distinct barriers. This looks so delicious, and it's super healthy for both baby and me. Steak is really good too when you're pregnant because it has a bunch of protein, zinc, and iron in it, which is so good for you. And But you just wanna make sure you don't eat it raw or undercooked, which is fine because I always eat my steak well done, which kind of drives Brian crazy, but that's how I like it. All right, I'm gonna try some of the crab real fast because I know I'm gonna like the steak, so let's try the crab. Not bad. I like it in the butter. All right, well, I'm gonna eat this because it's good for me and for the baby. And now we're gonna try to get Layla to eat some, but I don't think she's gonna eat anything because she's just not feeling well. Look at this gourmet little meal daddy made for Layla. And she's over there sleeping. Poor baby. All right, well, it looks like it's gonna be just popsicles for dinner for her, probably. Which means more steak and crab for mommy and daddy. All right, thanks everyone for joining us. Week 23, done.